But now the Lord's Day, we thank you for those who have gathered here in the sanctuary. We thank you for those of you who have gathered in the virtual sanctuary. We welcome you on this beautiful, snowy March morning to the United Missionary Baptist Church. And we say to you, if you're watching um, the, the live broadcast or the live stream, we want you to, first of all, let us know where you're watching, on what platform, but then we want you to click like and share. Let somebody know United is live and they need to hear what thus saith the Lord. Then lastly, we um, want to say to you that if this ministry is a blessing to you and you want to be a blessing to it, you may do so by downloading on your mobile device the Giveify app. We are United Missionary Baptist Church, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, or you can now give on Cash App. We are our sign, United MBCCLE. God bless you and may God keep you. It is our most sincere prayer. We're blessed to have our minister of music and our drummer with us. And we're going to put you in their hands as they bless us with their gifts of music and Oh. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we just clap your hands and celebrate Jesus. We truly serve an awesome God, amen. Exceedingly abundantly above all. You can ask for according to the power that worketh in you. So God is able to do just what He said He would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. He's able. He's able.
to share your word. We realize there's no preaching unless you do the preaching. So hide me, Lord, behind the cross. As I decrease, you increase. Let your people see and hear you in the spirit. Let your word go forth with power, conviction, hope, and comfort. That the lost might be found, the wayward may be restored, faithful will be encouraged, those who grieve may be comforted. And Lord, we'll continue to give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And thank you, God. Amen. Give honor to God today, who is the head of our life. Give God praise for our official staff of deacons. God for them. Amen. Thank God for our first lady today. Amen. Thank God for all of you, my father's children. Amen. Also thank God for our musicians for blessing us today. Amen. 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 There is a word found in the book of Psalm. Psalm number 22. 22nd Psalm. If you need help finding it, it's right before our favorite song. Amen. Well, I shouldn't say our favorite song, but uh, definitely uh, the most familiar song. All right. Psalm number 22. Verse number three reads in this manner. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabits the praises of Israel. You may be seated in the presence of God. For a few moments, I want to share from the subject, the power of praise. The power of praise. Church, there are virtues that if we hold fast to as believers, we would fare better while weathering the storms of life. What I mean is it is true that when we're going through, prayer changes things. Uh, when you pray to God and seek him for direction and seek him for answers, uh, uh, no matter what you're going through, you should be able to get a prayer through. But not only does prayer change things, but I believe some of the saints will testify this morning that fasting changes things. Uh, uh, we're in the middle of the Lent season, and a lot of folk are fasting during this time of uh, year, and how many of you know some things come only by prayer and fasting? That's what the Word of God says. And so, um, when you're going through, you can pray and you can fast, and it will change some things. But not only that, meditation changes things. Uh, meditation of God's Word. Uh, it's true when you're going through and you can't see answers. I dare you to start thumbling through this book and see what the Word of God give you a scripture that will help you along the way. A scripture that will let you know you're not the uh, the, the, the tale. Uh, a scripture that will tell you you can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Uh, meditation on God's Word will change your situation. Uh, fellowship changes 
things. Uh, fellowship with the saints. Uh, that's why it's not good uh, to stop coming to church when you're going through. We were talking about that in Sunday school this morning. Uh, but many, when they're going through a situation, uh, they tend to drift off and become, uh, 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 go through it by themselves. Uh, but how many of you know you have to come together and be surrounded? Uh, you need to be surrounded by godly counsel. Uh, you need to be surrounded by prayer warriors. Uh, you need to be surrounded by the testimonies of the saints. Uh, how many of you know that you, when you're going through, it's good to come and seek solace from your brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. But there's another virtue that we have to hold fast to. Um, and over the past few years, I've come to realize that, 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 that once you hold fast to this, some things will change in your life, and that is praise. How many of you know when you're going through something uh, and you praise the Lord, you can praise Him through it. Uh, you can praise God through your pain. Uh, you can praise God through your suffering. Uh, you can praise God Whatever the situation is, I, I dare you to start lifting up your voice in praise. Oh, yes, if you come to church or go to church with any regularity, you've heard it stated that God inhabits the praises of his people. You've heard somebody say that when praises go up, blessings come down. And perhaps uh, 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 you thought these were nothing more than just church cliches uh, that preachers and praise leaders use uh, to begin to move you. But uh, from one form of frenzy of celebration and verbal acclamation or to simply stir you up uh, in participation of worship. Uh, but let me tell you the truth of the matter is it's not my job as a preacher. Uh, it's not the musician's job. Uh, it's not the choir's job uh, to pump you up. Uh, you ought to have praise in your heart. Uh, how many of you know that when it comes to praise, uh, we should all do it without orchestration. Uh, we should do it without hesitation. Uh, we should do it without somebody conducting us or instructing us. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I think back over my own life uh, and see how good God has been to me, uh, and when you look back over your own life, uh, we all ought to be very thankful uh, for the salvation in our lives and thankful for how the Lord brought us through and it ought to put praise on your lips. And so I want you to know that these are sayings are more than overused expressions and church routine. Uh, by this I mean that God does inhabit the praises of his people uh, and that's rooted in scripture. That's the scripture text that we're using today, uh, it's a divine principle that will work, but you've got to apply it. In other words, when you open up your mouth uh, and speak well of God, uh, when you publicly and privately articulate the character of God, when you thank Him for all that He's done for you, uh, Psalm 108, uh, 107 and 8 says, Oh, that men uh, would praise the Lord for His goodness uh, and His wonderful works uh, to the children of men. Praise my brothers and sisters uh, is a way that we pay tribute to God. Uh, praise gives honor to God. Uh, praise extends compliment to God uh, and praise acknowledges God uh, for who he is. Uh, his person, uh, his providence, his provision uh, and praise is what we ought to be doing. I wish I had a church this morning that knows that it had not been for the Lord on our side. Uh, we don't know where but because we're here and because we know it's not because of anything good that we have done, we ought to give God some praise. And so praise, praise is an act of our will that flows out of our reverence toward our creator. It gives glory to God and it opens us up to a deeper union with God. Praise will shift our attention from our problems and our and it will reposition us um, in nature and the character of God. In other words, when you begin to praise God, you're taking your focus off of whatever you're going through. When you praise God, you're not focused on the pain. You're not focusing on the hurt. When you praise God, you're listening, you're repositioning yourself to be blessed and I dare you, when you praise him and make him bigger and magnify him, everything else becomes smaller. 
And so praise will shift our attention. Uh, and for those of you who have a problem with praise, uh, I want you to know that in the church house uh, and within your, the lives of church people, uh, praise is always the right thing to do. Uh, praise is always fitting. Uh, praise is always proper. Praise is always correct, uh, and praise is what we should do, uh, and it doesn't matter what the situation is. Uh, you ought not let anybody hinder your praise, no matter what the situation is. Uh, you ought not allow nobody to tell you it don't take all that, uh, or to be quiet, or to sit down. Honey, and when I think of what the Lord has done for me, uh, it makes me want to shout it out. It makes me want to scream. It makes me want to run. Oh, yes. As believers, we praise God uh, because God is worthy of the praise. I mean, you know, he's worthy. We praise God because he deserves our praise. You know, uh, we, 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 we spend a whole lot of time praising people. We spend a whole lot of time praising uh, ourselves. Uh, but everything good that happened to me, uh, God did it. And he deserves the praise. And so here in the text, in the text, verse 3, tells us that God inhabits the praises of his people. And that term inhabit means to live in or to reside in. It means to be present in or to feel or to occupy or to dwell in or to abide. And having said that, we must understand some things about praise because it's praise is powerful. And I dare you, just like you exercise your prayer, and yes, we can pray a little more, and just like you exercise reading scripture, yes, we can re always read the Bible more, but how do you know we ought to learn how to um, make praise a priority and make praise a lifestyle? When you give God praise, what it does is it invites his presence. In other words, uh, 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 whenever something good is going on, uh, you know when something happens and you pick up the phone and you want to run and call somebody, uh, and as long as you call them, them, it's just you and them, but when you begin to praise God for what's happening, uh, you invite him into the situation. Uh, it brings him into our midst. Uh, it invites him into our problems uh, and entangles him with our efforts and our affairs and praise intertwines God and us and us with God. In other words, the more we praise him, uh, the more he is infused uh, in our situation. Uh, the more you praise him, uh, the more he's in it. Listen, it doesn't matter what is going on. Uh, when he hears praise, uh, it apprehends his ear uh, and it captures his focus. Uh, you know, we got our little dog, Theo, uh, and I can always tell, we can be sitting around the house and I can tell when somebody to pulled up in the driveway and uh, before the door rings because he starts sitting up and rising up and looking up and just when we hear the bell he goes off. Don't you know that's what praise does? Uh, when you praise the Lord, uh, it lifts God's ear uh, to your situation and the more you praise him, uh, the more he wants to bless you. And so as we consider how we're praised, the question becomes what is it about praise that catches God's attention? And I tell you right now that praise delights God. Praise will stroke God's ego, if you will. Praise magnifies and amplifies God. And when it does, God will shift the atmosphere of your circumstances. God will shift your situation. Uh, let me tell you, it may be looking gloomy and it can be all bad, but when you begin to praise God, uh, it's as if you're watching the sun rise uh, uh, at the dawn of the day. Uh, it's dark right here, but before you praise God, you ought to be able to see uh, the light. Uh, God will change your situation, uh, and it changes your location uh, when you praise Him. In other words, if you're going through something uh, that you want to come out of, uh, it is praise that can make the difference. Uh, it's praise that can happen. Let me see if I can make it clear. If you're asking for something that you need in your life, praise can be the very thing that will provide it. And so I've come out here to let the people of God know that if you have a problem, 
problem and you're looking for an answer, or if you have a burden and you're looking for the answer, I dare you to start praising God because praise just may be what the doctor ordered. It makes no difference what the situation or whatever state you're in. If you need a breakthrough, I dare you to start worshiping God with your mouth. I dare you to start using your tongue to lift up praises. And as you lift up your voice in praise, lift up your hands in praise, begin to dance a little bit and rhyme a little bit. I dare you to start lifting up his name. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. When you're sick, I mean, you know, praise can be the doctor in the sick room. When you're distressed, praise might be the lawyer in a courtroom. When you're in an uncomfortable situation, praise can provide comfort. And when you're in trouble, praise can provide a very present help in the time of trouble. I don't know who I'm talking to, but if you're going through something right now, I dare you to throw your head back and lift up your hands and lift your voice and start giving God some praise. Oh yes, praise. Praise will change your situation. Praise will change your outlook. I wish I had somebody know that there's power in your praise. And so Psalm 22 may not read the way we quote it, but praise catches the ear of God. Praise will stimulate the heart of God. Praise will move the hand of God, and praise will shift God's promises into your favor. And make no mistake about it, there's power attached to praise, and a built-in benefit is connected to our praise. What I mean by this is praise is just like um, um, dynamite, if you will. It'll blow some stuff up. It'll demolish depression. When you praise God, it'll bring down walls and open up other opportunities. Praise will instigate change and eradicate sorrow, and it will activate transition and exterminate the enemy. I dare you, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, I dare you to have a yet praise. Job had a yet praise. With everything that happened to him, he lost his children, he lost his wealth, he lost his health, but he said, I'll still praise the Lord. And so I think you ought to know praise is the key. Uh, there can only be uh, praise that will help us. Uh, there can be no holy life without praise. There can be no miracles without praise. No breakthroughs without praise. You got to learn how to get in the habit of giving God praise. Paul and Silas, they were locked up in the prison. Uh, they didn't sit around and throw a pity party, but they began to praise God in the midnight hour. And in their midnight hour, God responded to their praise and he liberated them. I wish I had a church who knows that there's praise, there's power when we praise God. Oh yes, that's why we should never underestimate what praise can do. Because praise can open up doors. I heard somebody once say that the strength of a life is in the strength of his praise. In other words, when the pressure is heavy, and the storm is raging, this is the time that you can turn your praise up. It's not the time to push the panic button and give up. But how I many you know you ought to be able to praise God? The Bible is full of praise um, reports and, and, and scriptures of praise. In fact, the whole book of Psalms is really a book of praise. In it, you can find nuggets of praise. The Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. It says, be thankful unto him and bless his name. Make a joyful noise. Cry loud and spare not. Sing unto the Lord a new song. I heard the songwriter say, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. I mean, you know there's power in praise. Praise undergirds faith. And it will release the grace of God. 
Praise is the language of heaven. Let me tell you, you want to go to heaven? Don't you think you go to heaven and go live a quiet life? Let me tell you, uh, you up in heaven, they're praising the Lord day in and day out because he is the light of the world. Oh, yes, praise. Praise and everything that have breath. Praise the Lord. I wish I had a church this morning who knows that praise is there's power in our praise. For your healing, you ought to send up some praise. For your breakthrough, you ought to send up some praise. For your deliverance, I dare you to start praising God. For miracles that come in your life, I dare you to praise Him. I mean, you know, it's praise that will set the stage for God to do His work. Praise will unleash angels to minister and to protect you. Praise will combat the devil up and then will shift whatever you're going through. And so as I get ready to close, I'm about to encourage somebody. If you want God to do something, you ought to let him hear something. Uh, if you need God to do something, then let God hear something. He ought to hear you praising him. Uh, you know, you just like you pray for things, uh, you can praise for things. Uh, I believe if you really want it to happen, start praising and thanking God in advance for it. Uh, Psalm 150 says, uh, praise ye the Lord. Uh, praise God in his sanctuary. Uh, praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Uh, praise him according to his excellent greatness. Uh, praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Uh, praise him with the psaltery and harp. Uh, Praise him with the temporal and dance. Uh, praise him with the string instruments and organs. Uh, praise him upon the loud cymbals. Uh, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that have breath uh, praise the Lord. David said it like this. Uh, from the rising of the sun uh, to the going down of the same. Uh, how many you know the Lord is worthy? Uh, he's worthy to be praised. Uh, and so I don't know who you are, uh, but I come back here to tell you that if you need something to change, uh, if you need something to move, uh, I dare you to learn how to praise God. Uh, when praises go up, uh, God will show up. Uh, and when God shows up, uh, things begin to change. Uh, when praises go up, uh, bowed heads are lifted. Uh, when praises go up, uh, broken hearts are fixed. Uh, when praises go up, uh, torn relationships are mended. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to, uh, but if you need God's help, uh, I dare you to start praising Him. Uh, Praise gives God the right uh, to intervene. Uh, praise propels the Lord uh, to get involved. Uh, oh yes, praise will cause God uh, to do some things. Uh, there's a song that says uh, it will shift the atmosphere. Uh, in other words, when you praise God, uh, everything around you will change. Uh, when you praise Him, uh, you ought to let the praises go off your lips. Uh, you need to let it out of your heart. Uh, you need to let it leak out of your mind. Uh, let praise uh, resound from your life. Uh, Psalm 147 and 1 says, uh, I will bless the Lord uh, at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, and so I don't know about you, uh, but I'm looking for a blessing. Uh, I'm looking for a miracle. Uh, and I don't have time to talk about it with you, uh, but I Praise the Lord for it. I'm going to extol him. I'll glorify him. I'll exalt him. I'll praise his holy name. Is there anybody in here looking for something to change in your life? Is there anybody looking for a door to open? Is there anybody looking to shift where you are? I dare you to start praising the Lord. You ought to live a lifestyle of praise. Everything that happens, you ought to praise God. You ought to praise Him for the sun that we had earlier this week. You ought to praise Him for 70 degree weather. You ought to praise Him when it's raining. You ought to praise Him for the snow. I dare you to start praising God. He woke you up this morning. You ought to give Him some praise. He started you on your way. You ought to give him some praise. You got your right mind. You ought to give him some praise. You got a reasonable portion of health and strength. You ought to give him some praise. He spared your life. 
the one who knows they need to be saved, the one who knows they need to repent, the one who needs restoration, oh God. We yield to your will and to your way. Have your way now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.